Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to install this update that is KV5072033 on your Windows 11 computer. Now, the first step is to type in C cmd in windows search box make a right click on command prompt app and make sure that you run command prompt as an administrator and then click on yes to allow and then copy the first command paste it over here hit the enter key all the commands are provided in the video description and once the first scan is 100 percent complete in my case it is already done i need to restart my computer so run the first command and once that is done copy the second command paste it on the same window hit the enter key and once the second scan is 100 percent complete then copy the third command paste it on the same window and once the third scan is 100 percent complete over here then restart your computer and after the system restart you can update your windows 11 and then check still not working then type in services in windows search box click on services and then find app readiness make a double click on app readiness set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok find background intelligent transfer service make a double click set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then you have to click on ok and then make a right click on background intelligent transfer service click on restart now find windows update scroll down at the bottom somewhere you will find windows update make a double click on windows update set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok make a right click on windows update click on restart now once done go back and if you see the retry option over here hit retry and then you can try to update and then check still not working uh, go to windows update over here and then you can Click on over here, you can see pause update option. Hit pause over here. Now once paused, now you can click on resume updates and then let the update complete and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to use Microsoft update catalog. Now for this, you can open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. On this website, write down the name of the update that is KB5072033. And then click on search. Now check your Windows version. So type in WINVER in Windows search box and then click on WINVER run command. And check your version. In my case, it's version 25H2. And then check the system type. Open Windows settings. Go to system. And then go to about option at the bottom. And here you can see the system type. For me, it's x64, 64-bit operating system. Now for me, it's Windows 11. Uh, Windows 11 version 25H2 x64 base system. This is the right update for me. Now, if you have Windows 11 version 24H2 x64, then this is the right one for you. So you have to download it as per your system. So for me, this is the right one. Click on download. And then you have to click on KB5072033 over here. KB5072033, click on it. And let the download complete. Once the download is complete, you can click on this file and you can install this update manually. Just follow the on-screen instruction and then restart your computer once done and then you can check. Still not working. Uh, the next step is to open Windows settings. Go to Windows update and then go to advanced option over here. Scroll down. Here you can see recovery option. Click on recovery. And here you can see fix problems using Windows update. This will reinstall your current version of Windows. Your apps, files and settings will be preserved. So click on reinstall now. This process will take some time. And once this is done, restart your computer and then check. Still not working. The next step is to use media creation tool. Now for this, you can open this link in a browser. The link is provided in the video description. Scroll down here. You can see media creation tool. Click on download now and then run this exe file. And then you have to click on accept over here. Click on um, by default Windows 11 will be selected. Click on next. Select ISO file over here and then click on next. You can save it to desktop. Click on save and let the download complete. This process will take some time. And once the download is complete, uh, you can click on finish and then 
let this close automatically do not close this manually it will take a couple of seconds or maybe a minute to close once done go to desktop make a double click on windows iso file make a double click on setup file click on yes to allow click on next click on accept over here and here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so make sure this is checked and then hit install after the installation you can log into the computer and then update your windows 11. so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install this update successfully on your windows 11 computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel